Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a PO Box opening video. Um, I got these two lovely letters in the mail today. I've also got the sticky kit um, box and also, and I've just cut this open, the Your Creative Studio box. So I'm not going to be um, creating anything with your studio box. I'll just show you what's inside. Today I'm going to be creating stuff with the sticky kit products but firstly I'll just show you these two lovely letters that came in the mail and then we'll proceed with the video. It says hello please read. <laughs> Very cute. And it's covered in vellum paper. I want to keep this for later. Alright, so this is the letter, so I'll pop that one aside. And then we've got these beautiful washi samples. So as you can see, this one here is a Totoro one, which is adorable. We've got these two plants, and then these beautiful um, different colours really. This one kind of looks like a mountain scene. Really like that one. Thank you. And then we've got beautiful, oh, how pretty is that? Oh, I love them. Thank you so much. Oh, I really like these as well. Can you see those? Very, very pretty in ephemera. And then we've got, I think, some goodies in here. Oh, wait, actually, what's inside? So we've got some beautiful succulents and some stamps. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering why I got this. So I think everything was inside of here. Um, I'm not sure. So I've just got this letter. I'll just change the settings. Give me one second. Okay, so I thought there was something really odd with this letter because this envelope here had been cut open at the top and the envelope, like as you can see, this has been ripped and open as well. So I've just read this Australian Border Force letter and it's been popped inside the letter and it said that they've opened the letter up and that's why there's that green um, wash, like it's tape on the side here. And basically what they've said is they've opened up the letter just to ensure that there's no drugs or anything inside um, or guns or other weapons, which definitely there's not going to be guns or weapons in here. Um, but I understand why they've done it. So I was thinking like, because this obviously came separate this had already been undone and then um, this packaging had been opened as well so what they've done is they've must have opened it up um, and then tried to book it back nicely but it is a really beautiful package so thank you thank you so much for sending me this letter and all the goodies inside um, unfortunately yeah it was opened before I got to it but it's still absolutely beautiful so thank you so much for sending me this letter and this letter was from um, Marissa um, from the Netherlands so thank you again I really appreciate you sending me something in the mail so I just wanted to make a quick note before moving on. This has never happened to me before. I've never actually had um, anyone go through my letters in the past. So this is actually the first time. So it'd be really interesting to see if this happens more frequently now. Um, but yeah, thanks again for sending this letter. And um, yeah, very interesting that they've opened it and left a little note <laughs> to say that they've opened it and, and looked inside. Okay, so I've just changed the settings back. I know the, the picture is a lot darker now, but the other um, settings can be a bit overexposed and it, and it sometimes doesn't focus properly. So sorry if the, the image is a bit um, darker today. I'm not sure why because it's quite a nice day outside, but um, yeah, we'll proceed with this setting here. So again, sorry for the change of lighting. Um, this letter is from the Netherlands. It states on the front, there's no return address. So I'm not sure who's it from yet. Um, but let's see what's inside. Alright, so we've got this beautiful washi. 
Um, and I really like this one at the top here. Very, very pretty. Thank you. The address is behind this little hello, so I won't open that one up. We've got a little card behind that one. And then we've got all these beautiful um, post-it notes. Memo notes, whatever you like to call them. Sticky notes. <laughs> Um, and just a little sweet letter there. So thank you so much. I really appreciate the little letters that have been sent to my PO box. Um, and let's proceed with the packages that I got from Sticky Kit and um, your creative studio. Alrighty, so let's jump into the Sticky Kit. So... As always, we've got the combo sets, so the washi tape and the stickers. But we've got so many goodies today. I'm actually so excited about all these little goodies. Let me show you a bit of a close-up of some of these goodies. So here are some memo pads. They're absolutely adorable. I really, really like this. So thank you for that. And then we've got an overview. So this is the October 2019 kit, and it's called Autumn Moments. And then an overview of everything inside and also the little extras. We've got one of these little milky girls. I will be putting that straight into my journal. How cute is that? And I'm pretty sure there's a lolly inside that I'll eat a bit later. <laughs> and then we've got this adorable little kit here. This is so cute. Let me open it up for you guys. Alright, so this bag is absolutely adorable. I can't wait to save that one. And it says Happy Halloween! And it's the most adorable little Happy Halloween bag ever. Oh my god, there's banging upstairs. Of course they bang as soon as I start filming. Okay, they went away. And then we've got some more Halloween goodies. So we've got these stickers here. And then this little card that I really like as well. So those are all the extras. So thank you so much. So the first thing I want to open is the washi tapes. Are oh, the washi tapes, I should say. And as always, I'm going to try to keep as much of the cute packaging as possible. Oh no, I ripped it. Oh well. Well, we won't be keeping that one then. <laughs> okay. But I will be keeping this bag because I always like the bags that they use. I absolutely adore the washi tapes they've got this month. So they've got the sushi, the block colours, and then also the heads running along. And I love the vibrancy of these washi tapes. They are so unique. I've never seen these ones before. I don't know if this is a certain brand that I should know, um, or this one as well. But yeah, I'm really, really loving the washi tapes this month. Alrighty, so next we have the stickers. So this is the sticker sticky kit. <laughs> um, so we've got, oh my goodness, this is milky teas. These are so cute, they're sticker flakes. Um, we've got these adorable, they're like little flowers with birds. So it kind of actually reminds me of an Easter theme, that one. We've also got foxes. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. There's mailboxes, there's um, little envelopes, flowers and foxes. I think that one has to be my favorite. Oh, this one is actually so adorable as well. For winter, I can use that for Christmas. Oh my goodness, actually I could bring this one to Japan with me um, and put that in my Japan kit because it's nice and autumny and I'll probably have lots of images as well and need some scarves and beanies. This one here is a little bit different. It looks like it's plant, like specifically planner stickers, but it's got this little yoga girl and she's doing like all these different yoga poses. Um, so quite random, but um, I don't know how I'm going to use that because I, I don't usually use planners that much. But I, what I was thinking is I actually do yogas ev yoga every Tuesday, so I thought maybe... Um, Maybe if I do yoga on Tuesdays, I can put it into like a little tracker journal and see how many times I do yoga a year. And I don't know, maybe that's what I could do. 
or I could think about that later. <laughs> I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, very cute. So I'll show you a little close up of each one of these and then we'll open the bubble tea one because that one's flakes. So again, as you can see, autumn -y themes, so pumpkin pie, um, pumpkin <laughs> and jumpers, beanies. Yeah, I really like it. I really like the colours. They're very vibrant. They do match the um, the vibrant washi tapes as well. So I think they're going to be really cool to journal together with. Again, as I said, this one looks like it was quite eastery in regards to the pastel colours. But I think this is actually adorable. So I can't wait to use these ones. And then I said this one was my favourite. So actually I might do a close up on the table because it might be easy to see. How adorable is this? I absolutely love the little letter boxes. And it's a Japanese letter box because it has the Japanese little symbol on it. The envelopes, the beautiful flowers. And then the foxes have little, um, it looks like they've got little postman hats. <laughs> really, really cute. These ones are so adorable as well. So they're little hands holding different types of drinks that you'd get at the cafe. So I really, really like these ones because I think I can use them really well on my journal spreads, especially in Japan or when I go out with friends and I start doing journal spreads um, at cafes and things like that. So yeah, I really, really like this one. I can't wait to start using them. Before we move on, I just wanted to mention that this was the sticker sheet that was designed by Sticky Kit because it has the Sticky Kit logo at the bottom. It's so adorable and I just wanted to say a big thank you again for Sticky Kit for sending me this beautiful package. If you were wondering what was inside the adorable milky packet, it was this cute cookie. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a milky lolly but it was a chocolate chip cookie. Next is the Your Creative Studio box. So if we open it up, there's always their logo at the top there. There's a little thank you note inside today. So it says, there is nothing like looking back at pictures and remembering the good times. Thank you for your support. Have fun journaling. Oh, that's so lovely. Amanda, your creative studio. All right, so what have we got in today? Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a little camera and everything. So it is vintage camera themed i love this theme so much so last month it was alice in wonderland which i absolutely adore and this month it's vintage cameras which is one of my favorite themes again <laughs> Alrighty, so i'm going to take everything out of the box and then i'm going to show you one by one. Oh my goodness this is so adorable so the camera that was in the little plastic case is actually a rubber stamp I love that so much. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got, it looks like a little camera. So this one actually looks like an extended lens. How cool is that? And then that's a print of what the rubber stamp will look like. Next is this vintage camera washi tape. I really, really, really love the style of this washi tape. So as you can see, the background's this um, nice vintage color. It looks like it's been around for a while. And then the cameras that are on the washi tape are really cool as well. So I adore this washi tape a lot. All right, so so far I have no idea what's inside of this box, but all I know is that I'm definitely keeping it. All right. I really don't want to rip it because I really want to keep it. Oh, that's cool. Wait, what is it? Wait, I have no idea. I thought they were stickers. I'm so confused. What are these? They're like whole bunches of... I'm not sure because they're not stickers. They're just pieces of paper. So I think that you would use them... Um, journaling so you could write things on them maybe you could use them for like front of letters so maybe you could like the to and from on there but again they're really cool and there's so many of them but I'm pretty sure it's the same design over again and again let me see oh no the numbers change so that goes up to 28 this one goes up to 7 this one goes up to 31 this one goes up to 80 oh no that's 8 let me see yeah, that's eight. So there's just a whole bunch of, I don't know, they kind of look like tickets, but at the same time they look like 
like twos and froms, like you'd write your, um, like you'd put them on, you'd wrap presents with or something. But yeah, they're really cool. Most of these boxes do come with papers at the bottom. So we've got some really cool papers. I absolutely adore this one. This one looks really steampunky. And this one, as you can see, it shines. So it's got like gold, um, shiny paper throughout it. <laughs> I'm, I'm really good at explaining things today, but these ones, oh my goodness, they're like on vellum paper, so there's that see-through type paper, um, and again, they've got that gold shine to it as well, and this one is definitely my favourite, but this one's also gorgeous as well. Love, love, love these. So next we've got these rubber stamps and again they're cameras, all sorts of different cameras and I like that that one says photography. Really, really nice. I can't wait to use those. We've also got Your Creative Studio has created their own sticker sheet so I really like that they designed something themselves as well. Um, again, these would be really good to journal with and they match the theme absolutely perfectly. I thought that, oh my box fell down, I thought that I'd speed this video up a little bit because I know I was getting a bit slow going through everything one by one. But the next thing that we have, which I think I'm going to love, I think these are either memo um, papers or they might just be normal paper. But I certainly think that this style is beautiful. I think it's going to be the same the whole way through. Yeah, it is. So again, I can't wait to journal and they're all just put together by a seal at the top so it's not sticky on the bottom, so it's not actually a sticky note. Um, but these are going to look really cool to journal with in my collages and also on the front of envelopes as well. So I'm actually going to use those to make some beautiful mail art. This, this actually is sticky notes. Um, so let me take the packaging off. Oh, that's really cool. So it, it, the sticky notes are actually coming out of the front of the packaging here to make it look like it's like a Polaroid camera where the photo comes out. So I'll do a little close up for you. So it looks like it's coming out like that. And then when you pull it all the way out, it stops because it's a bit too tight. I mean, they've made it so you can't pull it all the way out. And then you take off your sticky note and then you can push it back in again really cool there's a lot of like really interactive and unique things like the stamp how you use the lens as the stamper alrighty so these are adorable envelopes I saw these before and I got, had my eye on them and I was thinking oh oh actually they're all different um, designs oh I love these these are so cute Oh, I don't want to use these, they're too cute. These are definitely another favourite of mine. Oh, I love these so much. Thank you so much. And there's so many in there, so these could last me a really long time. I'll pop these up here because my space is getting a bit cluttered. Alrighty, what's next? These say on the box that they're stickers, and again, I'm going to be keeping this box because I really like this style. So if you open it up, they're all little tags. This one says cash receipt. And they all, again, look like vintage tags. You could put that one on like a little mail art. Very, very cute. I can definitely see myself using all of these in this box. They've done a really good job at curating and picking things that you generally would want to journal with, not just um, not just choosing anything. So I really like that they've done that. Oh, this is washi tape. So there's two washi tapes in here. And this is song notes. Music notes, I should say. You can't see that, but... Just trust me. Oh, actually, let me see if I can do a close-up. No, it's going to be way too difficult. I'll just pop it here. But yeah, it's just music nights. There you go. There's a close-up. So you can see the design on the front there. I really like that one. And then lastly, but definitely not least, again, I think this is going to be similar to this one here. 
It's going to be beautiful papers that you can collage with, put on the front of mail art. Oh, actually, these ones you can actually rip halfway. So it's got... Oh, there you go. So you can rip them into squares. Very, very pretty. And I think it's going to be the same pattern the whole way through. Yeah, it is. All right, wonderful. Well, that is the end of the video today. Um, I was going to create a journal spread with my sticky kit collection, but... I think that I'm going to leave that for the next video just because this video is, it took a lot longer than I expected. Um, but I'll give you a little overview of what was inside the entire box. But thank you so much to your creative studio for sending me this. I adore everything inside. I also adored everything inside the sticky kit. And um, again, thank you to the two lovely people who sent me a letter in the mail. Also, here's what the stamp looks like if you wanted to know. So it's pretty similar to what they show on the picture here um, and yeah I think it turned out really nicely so I can't wait to use all the other stamps and see how they turn out but thanks again for watching this video today here's all the goodies that I got within the box and I'll start using them in future videos so thanks for watching bye